Now the question is, does limiting the iPhone charging to 80% extend the battery life well it is a topic that a lot of people discuss so let's get into it and well technically yes it is going to reduce the battery wear by minimizing the time spent at these like high charge levels but it all depends on the way that you charge it actually if you are really careful about it and if you don't make the iPhone stay at 100% for too long, then of course it's gonna behave a little bit better. But if you just tend to not care about it, then perhaps limiting this to 80% is gonna be good enough for you. Besides, if you're wondering where exactly you can find these settings, you can open up the main settings app on your device and on the main page you can find the battery section right there and you've got the charging right below the battery health and you essentially have like five options by 5% increment so you can start at 80% and go all the way up to 100. Keep in mind that I personally like to keep it at 100% but with optimized battery charging which I think is actually the best option if I'm being honest might be my personal opinion but that's just how I view it and the point is that with the optimized battery charging my phone technically stops charging normally at 80 percent and then it's gonna fill it up to 100 but based on my habits and I usually have the same routine where I just place the phone on a charging pad and just wake up roughly at around the same time so it can know perfectly and therefore I kind of rely on this instead of limiting this to 80%. So that's my take on it. Let me know below in the comments if you manage to like uh, do this and get a better result or what is your formula. So I'm kind of curious to know about that. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.